the hatch area tool. To get to that particular tool, we're going to go through the task. We're going to go to the one that says Modot Design CAD Standards. And then we're going to go to the group that says Patterns. Now, depending on what size your border is, will determine which group that you're going to select. And right now, I don't know what size this border is, so I'm going to go to my Reference dialog box by either clicking on the icon here, or I could also go to the File pull down and select References here. And inside there, we should have one that says MoDi DE 2008, which is the border file. And once you select it, you should see the scale of it. It's a 1 to 100 scale. That's all I need to know on that portion of it. So I'll close down the dialog box. Now I'll select the one that says 100 scale. And underneath there, you'll see different types of patterns that you can place. And on this example, we're going to go to the one that says hatch. And it brings up the hatch tool. And I'll zoom into this box here. Once you select it through the task with the correct scale that is corresponding to your border, the spacing should be pretty much correct, the angle should be correct, and your tolerance should be correct. All these parameters are already defaulted to place that pattern correctly. You can change those if need be, but for the most part, those are the defaults for it for a 100 scale, and you shouldn't have to tweak any of those. You have some different methods here at the top to place that pattern, though. You have an element, so if you had a box or a rectangle or a triangle or a circle or just a polygon that you place through the microstation tools, you could identify that particular shape and it'll place that pattern inside there. Another option is a flood, so if you have some lines that were drawn through there or an arc and you want to flood that area inside there, that's an option that you'd use there. A little bit more common than the element option. The next three is the union, intersection, and difference which deals with closed shapes if they're overlapping and you can kind of see the icon of what it would do on that portion of it. We're not going to talk about that in this video. And then the last one is the points which allows you to place points out there to put in a pattern. There is another one that says fence but we don't have a fence defined so that option is kind of grayed out. Probably the most common ones that you'll use on any of these methods which is either the hatch, the cross hatch, or the pattern area tools is the flood and the points. But for this example, we'll just use the element since we do have a closed shape that we can identify. So we'll simply come in here, select on element, and now if I select this particular box here, now I'll go ahead and left click out on the blank screen to accept it, it's going to place in that cross hatch. It's going to place in that hatch area. So that's what the hatch area tool will allow you to do. Now you have some different options down below here that says associative pattern, associative region boundary, and snappable pattern. If this is unchecked, and I'll go ahead and do an undo, I can simply come out here and place that pattern again. But if I move this box, let's say I use my element selection tool and I identify this, my box here, and I move it, you'll see that it's not associated to it. It's just that pattern was placed and it's done. I'll do a couple undos. I'll go back to my hatch tool. and Inside my hatch tool this time, I will select the one that says associative pattern. And I'll do the same thing. I'll identify my box. I'll left click to accept it. It places that pattern. But now this time if I identify my box, you'll see that it's associated to it. Or if I try to move it, it's associated to that box. So anytime that that shape moves, it's going to go with it. Do a few undos. I'll go back to the hatch tool again through the task. And associative region boundary, if I have that checked on, it'll put a boundary around it. So if I come in here and select the box, and I'll left click to accept it. This time if I identify my box, or if I modify it, the box, you'll see that's going to be associated to it. 
The last one that you do have is snappable pattern. So if I do a few undos and I select the box and I put the pattern inside there and if I draw maybe like a line I can actually snap to the pattern also don't know how often if ever that you'll use that but that is an option so that's what the hatch tool will allow you to do and the different options that are underneath there